Hey guys, Louis here. Welcome to another one of my videos, man. So, I locked in the Urgot and I thought that you guys mon might want to see this. So, here we go. But before we get started with this game, I have my usual, very important announcement to make. Guys, I have my free skin giveaway going on. The next huge giveaway is going to be at 200 subscribers. We're getting there really quickly, guys. The Legion is growing larger by the day. But, all that you have to do to be able to participate is simply smash that subscribe button! But that's enough ranting about my channel. I'm playing against the Camille and I'm ready to rock and roll, boys. Here we go. This is how a 400,000 mastery point Urgot looks like. Let's have a look at how she's gonna be trying to tackle this down in the early game. It's a Kami, so she does have a really big amount of bulk, and her shield is super annoying to be playing against. But, nonetheless, since you get the level 2 power spike before her, you can zone her. There we go. That's annoying the shit out of other players, boys. For sure, they can't come near, so they can't, uh, they can't get XP, and they fall behind. There we go, I'm gonna push this really hard, because I want to go get Vision. There we go. She also hits her level 2 power spike at this point, and I'm not near, which is a good thing. As you can see, early game against the Kami is difficult, so I'm gonna pop the potion quite early on, just to make sure that I stay safe. Okay, first blood for a bot lane, that's huge. Hope we don't have that typical type of feeding in the carry man. Okay, we don't have shotgun legs at the moment in the front. There we go. And as you can see, it's starting to push towards me and that's exactly what I want to happen. That way, I know that the fiddlesticks will be able to gank in a while. With the Kami, you have to be careful of playing near to walls because she actually has a really powerful stun. Okay, there's some stuff going on over there. Let's go help him out. Okay, these guys backing off. That was just enough. Us following there. That was enough to make these guys think, Ooh, I don't actually want to be doing this. Okay, my, go my point here is that I have to make sure that the Kami doesn't get the pressure that she wants to be able to roam. Because when she can roam to her team... Okay, I'm going to be clearing this as quick as I can. There we go. I have to let them know Kami is coming. Okay, that's perfect. More than that, you cannot do. You cannot win the fight. So you don't have to try to win the fight. Taking the fight early on is really stupid. You have to focus on staying safe and living until you hit a huge level 9 power spike. Right now we can see, I'm gonna let this come to me, I'm gonna be super patient about it. And when it finally arrives, I'm gonna have like about 900 to 1000 gold. And I'm gonna really get a really good recall in. And that's exactly why I'm playing so patient. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate, we missed that cannon. You have to be careful for the Kami, she can come in and smack you. The chance that's gonna happen is low, but she can do it, it's a Kami. Most likely she's gonna feel like playing safe, because there is no point for her to uh, die unnecessarily either. Here right now you can see I have a really good recall, I'm gonna be able to get lifesteal, and that's really huge. Okay, they pick up that dragon, that's a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. As you can see the Kami, she's level 6, so I'm gonna be really careful here. Level 6 Kami is a dangerous Kami. Okay, she's uh, destroying my vision, but I'm not in a position to contest this. I won't even look to do so. Okay, that's the Warwick coming in hot. Let's have a look at what he's going to be doing here. Okay, we get the Warwick, that's good. And the victor is dead too. Nice, uh, boys, that's the way to go. <laughs> 
Nice. There we go, I'm nicely circling around this uh, Rift Herald. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my lane right now. Camille is here and she's gonna be like, Oh, I'm Foggers, I'm Foggers, I'm so fucking strong. Yeah, I'm Camille. Oh. Now she's gonna be dying to the fill sticks. There we go. Easy. And that's gonna be the full charge of the Rift Herald onto the turret and she's gonna be getting mad. Ah, that's good man, that's good. There we go. Another big one. A hop. Fiddlesticks, Rift Herald, bro. I don't know why he's not ditching the Shelly here. Would have actually been a really good position to drop it in, I mean. Nonetheless, gonna pick up quite a few playthings and I'm gonna be heading back. And as you can see, we're really destroying the Kami. Urgot is a perfect pick into this champion because she doesn't have what it takes to be able to run me down. There we go, we have to burn the flash, but we're gonna come back into the lane. Huge. Okay, we're back in the lane. We're looking huge because level 9 just hit us. And we have our fully automatic and the shotgun right now, so Okami is quite done. I don't think she'll be able to contest much of what I'm doing. I'll just be hard pushing from now on, because if I keep the pressure on, I can actually roam towards the mid lane, maybe teleport for dragons and that kind of stuff, so... That's not gonna be what she can be keep up with that game pace, because she doesn't have sustain compared to me. There we go, that's the Warwick coming in hot. Man, he kills me, obviously. Warwick with the Blood Hunt is really strong. He's really good at running down people. I bet he only left in the mid lane when I hit half HP and then he... He killed me straight away. Okay, picking up the Infernal Drake. Saya picking up the first turret. For once, we have a bot lane that's not feeding. And I'm teleporting to the top lane to keep on playing aggressive. And there we go. Activate that W. And I'm ready to fight you, Kami. Bring it on. You little girl scouts. You ain't got no Warwick near today. It's not so funny, eh? Aha! She's trying to fight me as hard as she can, but she's not managing. Okay, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Warwick is missing. Quite sure he's gone towards the mid lane or something. Okay guys, I'm coming. No stress. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my lane right now. I'm gonna go via this route so that I'm nice and safe, I'll also be protected. If I see the Kami go this direction, I'm even gonna go like this. Okay, she just put the vision, that's fine. It's a normal ward she put, so I don't have any option. I cannot delete it right now. Let my team know she's missing. Um, it's not an issue, if she fights me I can win the fight. But I have to know where she is. Well, oh, especially for my team, you know, because she cannot have free uh, free time on me. Like if she starts getting kills onto my team, this game is going to be over really quickly. Because then I'm not able to fight her anymore.
Again, I don't know where she is. I'm letting my team know. Okay, she's coming via the back. Destroying the vision that I put up there. It won't matter because she's not back in time to defend her turret anymore. Okay, this is going really well. She cannot do anything. I totally have control over her lane. To the point where she cannot even keep a minion alive. Okay, that's her escaping. I'm gonna keep on putting pressure in my lane. She still cannot fight me, so if she doesn't come... Okay, that's actually really good. Get the stun off on her. Get the ult. Hop, that's it. Like this, you get the knock up on her. And that's really big, man. Now the Warwick is gonna be coming. And if you can lifesteal from this guy, you're gonna be in a really good spot. Oh shit, Warwick has a lot of damage, man. But Victor coming in to clean that up together with the fiddlesticks, nice. And that's a good thing about having a team, man. It's not like you die in vain. Like, look at the play they're gonna make. They're gonna get this turret over there quite easily. Boom. He's down. Oh, God. Okay, that's big. That was really well timed to get her to fiddlesticks out. Or get the inhibitor. And right now, actually, we can go right here. I'm gonna say, Saya, help me out. No, she ain't coming. Okay, guys, that's okay. I do have, like, a lot of lifesteal, so I'm gonna be just fine right there. There we go. I'm gonna get my revenge on the Warwick here. I'm gonna get this guy down. There we go. Hop. And you can see that Victor, he's fucking huge, man. He's one-shotting everybody. Yep, uh, and Camille is not going to be able to survive because I have too many minions to fight with. There we go. They have nothing left to throw at me. And I'm going to be taking a turret here for now. Massive. Kami trying to come with a big play, but not quick enough. I'm gonna take the top turret and back off. There we go. That was only a few hits anyway. I do have a lot of gold, so I'm gonna be trying to recall. Maybe after I take the blue buff. And we have the 400 gold shutdown bonus. Woo! See, but that's the difference, right? Like, my KDA might not be perfect or awesome or amazing, you know? Oh. Okay, we get him. Nice, sir. Okay, we're gonna get that Baron Asher and then we're gonna back off, man. Otherwise, we're really overextending. And as you can see, I'm running around the Baron to sh proc my shotgun knees. That's the way to do it, because you do max HP damage and it's insane. Hulk, huge recall, and huge back, man. Look at the amount of gold we have. <laughs> oh, wow, they get deleted, man. This game is so done for them. Okay, that's it. We win. They can't do anything. <laughs> nice. You can see the gate lynch is still trying. Not like it actually would matter, but... That was a good game, boys. I knew when I locked in the got that I was going to win. Kamis. I've played against so many Kamis. 
and they can't do anything. Let's have a look at the damage, man. That was a good game. There we go, almost into gold one. After almost 20 games, it's quite good in my opinion. And the damage, well, you can see we did the most damage of the game. That was fucking good, man. I'm happy with this one. Hey guys, if you made it this far into the video, I hope you actually enjoyed that I put out an Urgot video today. I'm gonna get my ass to editing that right now. If you did enjoy it, you would really do me a favor and help me out a lot. If you could actually comment something on this video, what you enjoyed a lot about it maybe, or which skin you liked the best of Urgot. And if you could actually like throw a thumbs up, because like, you know, that's actually really good for the growth of my channel. I would really appreciate it if you could do that. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.